It has become popular to attribute the many challenges facing Nigeria to bad leadership. The forum gave participants the platform to rub minds on these and many other issues. There is no single Nigerian president that 20% or 30% of Nigerians knew who, who he was before he became president. It is the Yaraguay today, we had he was dragged, screaming and kicking. He didn't say he wanted to be president. He literally dragged him to the villa. <laughs> before he, Masanjo was sitting in prison. They dragged him. He said, I don't have money. They said, we will make you president. But in 1999, the Supreme Court of Nigeria collectively said that our election was largely okay. In 2003, one Supreme Court judge said that the election was generally flawed. In 2007, three Supreme Court judges said that it was a sham and fraudulent. So, what that means is that there's a regression. There were also reactions to the recent request by the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Farida Waziri, that people aspiring to political office should undergo psychiatric tests. She should lead also by example. What does that mean? All the people who are supposed to be in jail, all the people that are supposed to be in various stages of trial in various courts, should not be walking the streets as if nothing happened. The forum also highlighted the need to document Nigeria's history positively. If the first generation of all our storytelling about the failure of Nigeria has never projected us in any positive way, how do we expect to mobilize the human resources required for nation building? Nation building is a myth. Nations are never not built on reality. They are built on mythology. Participants agreed that it has become imperative for Nigerians to work together towards building an enduring legacy that future generations of Nigerians will be proud to build on. Rinsola Adibanjo, AIT.